The objective of us teaching is to wake you brothers and sisters up to who you are in the Bible. You are unknown in the Bible as the Israelites that the Bible talks about. When you open up the Bible, when you read in the Bible, you're reading about your forefathers and foremost. You're not reading about other people. You're reading about yourself. You're the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. The greatest book that was ever put on this planet, and whose history doesn't record, you blacks and Hispanics. But you have to have the that. So we're out here to dispense this information to you. That's what our job is. We're not out here for a show. We're not out here to sing and dance and entertain you. We're here to give you God's word. Because our people have been taught lies on the Bible. I can tell they jealous, ain't nothing they can tell us They say I'm overzealous, hell no, you just rebellious Put these heathens up in fetters, remember how they did us Oh no, I can't forget it, we gon' make their ass regret it I've been hoping on the wisdom, ever since I met her We got it, the devil, I want this forever Lord forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors Gotta gather up together, these commitments make us better Bread of adversity, water of affliction Look at our conditions, had to get it out the trenches Put them teachers on the streets, we gotta build our people's spirit up Sin, I had to give it up, feel like I done did too much So I go harder for the Lord, I can never do enough So I just keep doing more, what the hell you waiting for? You know the rules, what you say you gotta prove When we blameless, we can't lose, life or death, you gotta choose now Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, Pirelli, I'm Emmanuel, bro. What's your name? Vulo. Huh? Vulo. Vulo. Yeah. You from St. Louis? Yeah. All right, so tell us a little bit about the Mayday Parade. What is it about? Um, it's about Annie Malone over here. Yeah. Uh, over on the, the north, over or whatever, it's, it's, it's a tradition, it's a black tradition in St. Louis. Used to come down Page and whatever, now it's down here because of issues, whatever, with the city. Yeah. Okay, so. It's an orphanage, it started off as an orphanage over okay. here, you know, to raise money for, you know, right, everybody know that. Right, so it, it was historically for a good cause, right? Right, right. So now today, how do you feel about it? Do you think it's still positive for our community? I mean, yeah, it's positive for the community. Anything that, you know, like this is positive, but it's pretty commercial now. And, you know, it's been taken away from where it started, you know, the original roots and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, now I'm going to get a little, you know, I'm going to touch a little sensitive topic if you don't mind. Uh, all right. All right, you got daughters? Nope. You ain't got no daughters? Mm -hmm. You got uh, nieces? Mm -hmm. You ain't got no young? You got a son? You got a woman? Yeah. Okay. If y'all, if y'all was, if you was to have a daughter, would you want your young daughter, like from six to twelve years old, with you know her body out dancing in front of all ages of men? I would, I would be all right with it. I mean, it's, 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 it's. It's tasteful though, you know, the little kids, they got the, you know, the, the flesh colored leotards over there on, up under it, you know, it's nothing really hanging out or nothing like that. And, and like I say, it's a tradition, you know, the costumes have been the same way since I was a child, so it was okay when I was a child and still now, but with the climate today with society, I understand, you know, with pedophilia and all of the human trafficking and all this type of shit going on, I understand that, but, you know, I don't think nobody gets snatched in a parade, you know, they, they probably all right now. I wouldn't suggest being dressed like that all the time, you know, away from an environment like this. Okay. But I, I, I would allow her to do it, yeah, especially if it was her, her dad's team, you know, and it was a coach, you know, and I'd check it out first and see if it's on the level, it'll be all right. Okay, okay. So you feel like just overall it's a positive event for our people? Yeah, yeah, okay. I do overall. Okay. Appreciate that. All right, all right. Zechariah 7 and 10. Bring it up. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 10, bruh. It's a damn shame. Read what you got. The book of Zechariah, chapter 7 and verse 10. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. So this is the message that we come with. Solutions to our community. Stop killing one another. Black man, why is your damn child? Stop making these women up and leaving them to the fear for themselves. Because they cannot raise these kids on their own. They're raising monsters. That's the reason why niggas die. Saint Louis. 
this is solutions. What we have is we'll be bringing the solutions. Come on. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother. In, what, right, look, finish it out, come on. In your heart, don't imagine evil against your brother because he's from the other side of town. Because he claim a different game than you. This will go on the same Louis every day. You know? We're trying to get it to stop because we understand that the word of God is the only thing that can stop it. Who else is going to bring the word of God to stop it? Read what you got. But they refuse to hearken. So you telling me we give giving them the solutions to stop what they crying about, to stop what they mourning and whining about on social media, right? We giving them exactly that said the Lord had an illness. But what did they do? And pulled away the show. They refused to hearken and they put away their shoulder. Hey sis, I'm trying to show you true salvation. Hey bro, I'm trying to show you who you is according to the Bible. And what happens? Alright bro, I gotta go. No, I ain't got time. Bring it up. You understand? That's prophetic. That's how we know we're speaking to God chosen people. That's how we know we're dealing with the Israelites right now at the Mayday Parade. You would have thought that you were just a, a Saint lunatic. But some garbage like that. No, you're a child of God. You are chosen. You are special. You are above all people. But you're at the bottom because you don't give a damn about the word of God. Because you do not want to change your ways. You refuse to hearken. You content with shaking your ass. You content with killing your brother. You content with dying over a bag that the white man made. You understand? What do you what do gang makers go to buy them for a red rags? We don't produce them. Hey sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all got five minutes to hear about true salvation? Y'all wanna know how to get saved for real? Cause your pastor lied to you. Right. Your pastor just drowned in your pockets. You don't wanna hear the truth? Read that verse again. Come on. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears. They did what? Stop their ears. They put their hands over their ears. Why? Wow, because the word of God convicts them. The word of God will force you to change how you dress, how you deal with your neighbor, the drugs you sell and consume. The word of God will force you to stop. But when you don't want to stop, you're going to stop your ears from hearing a solution. You're going to stop your ears from doing what it takes to clean your community. And that's our people, that's the damn problem. Let us write chapter seven and verse 23. What we saw today is what's gonna perpetuate our women growing up being whores, single parent household, gang banging, killing. What else the medic parade gonna perpetuate this? Because it's a continuation of us not knowing our true heritage, not being taught our true identity. But rather indulging in and having fun and embracing vanity. Vanity. This is nothing. This what a, a boy, he could have been no older than 12 years old. I asked him, why you come to the Mayday Parade? No boy younger than 12. Y'all know what he said to me? Sisters. Sisters. Y'all know what a young boy said to me today when I said, why you come to the Mayday Parade? He said, for the hoes. A boy could have been no older than 12. Right. Said he came to the Mayday Parade for the hoes. Probably can't even do nothing do no with no hoes yet. He's too little. But that's why he came to the Mayday Parade. Come on, man. That's a damn shame. Read what you got. The book of Zorak, chapter 7, and verse 23. As thy children, instruct them and bow down their neck from their youth. So God said, if you got children, you're supposed to instruct them. That's why when you see the men of God, we got signs with all type of information. We got flyers. We read the Bible. Y'all think that we ain't got jobs? We ain't got families to tend to? We took time out of our day to come and give you instruction. To bring you back to your, your true father. You understand? But when you see that, you're supposed to allow your child to come and learn. You understand? Your child is learning nothing but how to twerk at a young age. Little four or five year old girl dropping down hitting splits and shaking their behind. Where did they learn that from? They learn that from Megan Stallion, Cardi B, Dorothy the Seniors, grown ass women, and their little bitty ass children. Why? Because y'all ain't teaching them no better. Y'all ain't teaching them to cover up their body, to behave in a real manner that will please God. 
these kids don't give a damn about God. Because the parents are not instructing them to do so. Bring it up. Bring it up. Ask thou daughters, are you what? Ask thou daughters, if you got daughters, God will tell you something you better do. Or your daughter gonna grow up and be another statistic. Your daughter gonna grow up and have to get medication for what happened in her vagina. Your daughter gonna grow up and be at the clinic, let somebody put scissors inside of her to kill a person. You understand that? That's what's gonna happen if you don't listen to what God told you to do with your daughter. We don't. As the daughters have a care of the body. God said you're supposed to care about your daughter's body. I talked to an older man. He said he ain't had no daughters. I said, bro, if you had a daughter, would you want your daughter in this parade dancing and all that like, like the other girls? He said, yes. I don't see nothing wrong with it. And then I ain't even have to say nothing else. I just let him talk. He said, yeah, I know it's predators. Period, you know, human trafficking. All this stuff is happening now, back and way. More than ever before. And he said he don't see no problem with having his daughter out here. Damn that butt ass naked. You understand? Y'all don't care about their body. Y'all got all type of men, all ages, from big to small, from babies to elderly, looking at child daughter's body. You understand that? Less than having imaginations. As a father, you post the care. As a mother, you post the care. You know, our people don't give a damn. That's why our women get slayed out. That's why our women love the city girls, Megan and Stallion. You understand? And they get brainwashed. That's why the black man don't respect the black woman. Because she don't know how to act. That's why they get down there because they act like damn dogs. And that's in the Bible. We don't have care. Over their bodies and show not thyself cheerful toward them. Show not yourself cheerful to them. Guess what? All these young girls that march, all the all these folks in this parade with their booty cheeks out, with their legs out showing their belly, uh, their belly bags out. All of that. Guess what? Read that Bible part one more time. And show not thyself cheerful toward them. God was cheering them on the whole damn time, and that inflamed them. If they get cheered on to do that when they're at a young age, don't be surprised when her, her occupation is being a stripper. Right. Don't act heartbroken in when your daughter got an OnlyFans. When your daughter is a professional porno star. You understand? I'm dead ass and you laughing. I'm dead serious. This what happen when you do not care for your butt, for the bodies of your daughter. That's what they gonna grow up and do. That's why thousands of our women do it now. The biggest industry in the world is the porn industry. Who is it? Our sisters. Because they grew up with that their parents care for their body. Y'all gotta understand, we the reason that we at the bottom. At the end of the day, we destroy our because we reject the knowledge of God. Get to that Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, bro. That's why we destroy it. Read what you got. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. God said our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They don't want to know who they are. They don't care. All they want to know is the latest song that came out from their favorite rapper. It's getting paid by the white man to brainwash the community, to influence the community, to influence these young men to do things to get locked up. Think about how many young men favorite rapper was junked up. The fans built the case on that man for nine years. For nine years, he on TV, he on YouTube, he in videos, flashing, look, he, took, he got it in the young man's mind, I wanna live that lifestyle. And guess what that lifestyle got him? He in jail facing life. Facing life. Yep. And these kids that love him and follow him ain't got the money he got to uh, get the lawyers, to get the bond money. You understand? He might see that like again. But the, the young men that he brainwashing, if they get caught doing the same thing, they ain't gonna never see that like ever again. Bring it up. They are gonna be institutionalized. You understand? You're going to communicate them with them through a window. Because that's all that they into, because you let them be into that. You let them follow a man and say he put the black in his back. 
A damn sodomite, faggot, thug, gangster, savage, kill what the hell? They don't even go together! That's sugar spice and nothing nice! All right. But that's what, that's what you see, that's what's being bred in our community. Ain't no parents. The rebels is the damn parents. The rebels raising your damn kids. And the rebels dying too. The rebels going to jail too. Read what you got, read it again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. Because you what? Has rejected knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. The knowledge came to you in the form of a pamphlet, in the form of a, a bullet, a bullet that looked just like you, coming to you with a sensor approach, a bullet with a microphone and a loudspeaker, a whole bunch of bullets marching and you were sitting in order, all the time angles that came at you and you still reject it. Why? Why you don't want to know who you are? Why you don't want to know what it takes to better your community and get us back in our right, right position as the rulers of the earth? I want y'all sisters, I know y'all hear me, y'all fake ignoring me right now. We're going to do the room in 2856. I want to ask y'all something. I know that y'all would rather prefer this Rather than being out in the hot air swearing, taking twerking your behind, making live videos and posting pictures of your body half naked to get likes, shares, and comments. Hello. You understand? I know you don't want to be in this type of state right here. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, no, the rough, gay, uh, hard, if nigga free, that, that type of woman. The tender and delicate woman. God said the bad woman is supposed to be tender and delicate. You're supposed to be approachable. You're supposed to be nice. You're supposed to be kind. You ain't supposed to be no damn Megan or Stallion. A stallion is a male horse. A male horse. God said you're supposed to be tender and delicate. Come on. Among you, which were not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the upon the ground. Read it again. Among you which were not better better to set the soul of a foot upon the ground. God said you so special, you so precious black woman, your foot ain't even supposed to touch the ground. Right. You're supposed to be carried around why? Right? Because you royalty. That's what the Bible say that to you. Sister right here with the yellow uh the yellow shaped earrings. It look like a ge geometric shape, I don't know which one. With the afro. You know that Jesus Christ got that same apple? You know that? You love Jesus? Uh, yeah, John 14, 15. We got a message for you, sis. Because a lot of our people say that they love Jesus. You ask anybody, they'll say that they love God. And they might have murder on their mind. They might, they might be finna go do a drill. They might be finna go do some nasty, immoral stuff. But it's because we've been lied to. They've been teaching us lies. Look at Satan again, black in the word of God. You can't make this up. Read what you got. Look at John chapter 14 and verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Sister, what the hell for? You heard know what Jesus said? Read that again. If you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus said if you love him, you will keep his commandments. You understand that? I'm finna show you one of his commandments. First Timothy 2 verse 9. I'm finna show you that and mainly because of ignorance, don't none of these sisters out here really love Jesus. Right. For real. Don't none of these sisters out here really love Jesus. Because if they did, they would keep this commandment. Read what you got. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. That's a commandment from Jesus. Women post a dress in modest apparel. You know what that means? That means your shape, your figure, your cleavage, all that is covered up. A man ain't supposed to see the shape of your butt cheek, your camel toe. A man ain't supposed to see that only your husband. Right. You understand that? That's a commandment from the Lord. If you love him, that's what you're going to do, sis. Right or wrong? Huh? See, look, that's what happened when our people faced to change. You will hear something, you agree to it, and we'll ask what you're doing, and you hesitate. Because it's a war in your mind. In your mind, I'm going to show you something. In your mind, you've been told, well, in church, 
we we sang praise dances, we clap the tambourine, we say we love God. I thought I was saved already. Right? But then the Bible say, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I got rules and regulations. If you love me, you're gonna follow them. So now you got what you've been raised to believe and the truth of what the word of God said. And then they 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 play a tug of war. The, the, the Jesus that you grew up knowing all your life, you just learned one little scripture that proved that you had the, the wrong idea. That is not the Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus of the Bible is a black man that commands his people to get in order. He commands his women to dress a certain way. If you love him, if you really want to get saved by him, you got to dress modestly, sis. You got to dress modestly. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. I'm finna give you, I'm finna go in detail of what it means to dress modestly. Because a lot of our women wear this thing and it's a stumbling block to the whole community. I want to say to the black man, but uh, a lot of these sisters gay. A lot of these sisters let's not the other sisters by what they see in them jeans. You understand that? That's a shame, ain't it? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. God said the woman is not supposed to wear what pertains to a man. You know what the word pertain means? The word pertain means belong to. Right? Watch this though. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is that saying a man can't wear? Men can't wear what? A dress or a skirt. Right. If I'm a man and I want to find a dress or a skirt, when I go to the store, I can't go to the man's section and find it. Right. It's a woman's garment. I got to go to the woman's section to find a dress if I'm a man that want to wear it. You understand that? So with that being said, you agree that that's wrong, right? Okay, read on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. I know you heard of the word abomination, right? You heard of the word abomination, right? There's something that God hates. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.